Hello everyone, it's me Silent Viper and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back again, back again with my Warcraft 3 World Editor series, uh, episode 2 if you want to uh, I guess count it. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys everything about creating a hero and everything that has to do with hero, hero units as well as how to create a normal unit into a hero by the way. But this will not have custom spells and custom icons and stuff like that like uh, the custom ones that you have to download and import that part will not be in this video that will be a separate video where i will be primarily talk about custom things how to download and import models but this one's about creating your own hero without downloading any assets so yeah let's let's get right into the work so obviously pick a hero and place it here but because there are a lot of good models of units that maybe you want to uh, not this one but you know maybe you want to convert into hero for your map or for your campaign map or normal map or whatever so for for this map i will for this map i guess I, i'm going to choose uh, let's say the Mary model i like the Mary model uh, just like this maybe you also like the Mary model and you want to create him turn him into a hero object editor but, but first you actually remove this because you don't want to place the actual unit you go into the object editor and you look for the model you want the unit model you want uh, you find a unit and then right click it and create click on new costume unit and then you can name it whatever you want you can actually change the the thing as well you can change its uh, alliances as well but for now i just would like to keep it on that will be the name for now you can use whatever name you want and click on ok and then here is the main thing now this here will is how you change your unit into a hero if you just click OK right now, it will only create a costume unit. It will still become a unit. But now to convert it into a hero, click on it and you remove the N. N or H, in some cases there's H, some cases N, whatever. Whatever the first letter is, remove it and then convert that very letter into a capital letter. So instead of small N, it is now capital N. And then click on OK. And just like that, as you can see, S uh, over here, S Viper is a custom hero not not a unit like our medieval here keep the keep the end small and then it will be a custom unit as you can see but if you change it to capital whatever the code is into a capital letter then you will get a hero so yeah we don't need it right now in there and now that you have your hero well you now let's make changes to the hero. abilities we double click on it and we can add abilities obviously most ability most heroes has four ability so try to pick it in that order so let's pick a few abilities i recommend having one passive two normal spells and one ultimate one that can be level up at level six can you can choose at level six so as you can see I, this is the four spells i have chosen for him a uh, rain of fire a soul burn a uh, aura then an ultimate by the way you can click on move up and move down to uh, order the spells that you want to be it to be shown you know so q would be this w would be this e would be this and r would be this but you can change it so now in hero skin you would want actual skin spells as if you double click it says ability skin list so choose different skins but uh, i would recommend picking the actual skins because they are well obviously they make sense and then ability normal this is where you actually well most heroes actually only have their inventory because that is what most heroes have if you click on any hero and they usually only have inventory apart from few hero as a this guy has a ultra vision some have some and since medi has by default a crow form and it makes sense we'll just keep the crow form as is a default ability so you can actually pick any other spells maybe you would want so these are the spells that you don't have to level up but they will be there by default and you're always there from the beginning but make sure that how many how many, let's say i want a summon c elemental then you can place it there and obviously in this skin part as well do the same as we did so yeah, here are the animation things that doesn't really matter much for so the run speed let me change it to uh, 300 uh, the other thing you want is here as you can see there's a game interface but there's no screen i score i screen that is something you do want so as you can see, I can search Medivh and OK. So now we have a screen. This, and as you can see, all, all heroes have them. 
but Eunice do, don't have them just just as he, him maybe did have that but we have to place it there and obviously pick the appropriate appropriate icon now this is where the real deal starts as you can see this is the range of the he hero 600 i think is fine now we have to make changes to the attacks uh, the attack type change it to hero because you are a hero now don't change to any spells or anything like that just because your uh, guy is uh, ranged and then here is another major thing that is uh, attack targets obviously our hero should be able to attack air units structures uh, items and wars I and mean, this this far uh, six things pretty much cover everything every every thing that we technically need to do but for maybe if for some reason you want your hero to destroy trees then you can do that if you do that this is this is the this is the six main thing main uh, target types that you should have and then the weapon not the first one this is the sound uh, we you can have different sound if you want but this is the first limit let's pick the unique weapon type so what do you want your duo to attack like since since our is a range guy it has to the, the something needs to be flying there instant uh, you will not see any projectile going there you just uh, take damage immediately but i suppose for most cases you would want um, some projectile to go at it we'll just go for a missile obviously there's a splash missile that splashes when when it hits a target and another thing another major thing you need to change is as you can see here this type says can raise dot dodge dk but heroes won't, shouldn't be able to raise that means if a necromancer is there then let's say arthas is there and his alt will raise you but that shouldn't be the case for heroes so he can't raise but it does dk maybe you don't want it to dk then you can do that as well for certain cinematics you want the body to be there then and now this defense type here this is the important defense type not the armor type we saw a flesh thing that should be flesh for range zero now this is the what this is the armor this is the actual defense type and obviously again it should be hero since you are a hero it should be hero now by the way if you want to make changes to the hero's uh, sound maybe you don't want sound, medib to sound like medib but you may want the hero to sound like abomination akama albatros agility per level obviously you want your hero's agility to um, he is a magic guy so maybe you don't want his agility per level to be too high let's say 1.5 most other heroes have it uh, one i believe and i'm going to make my hero a bit more powerful than every every other hero the hit points regeneration says only during the one night but if we click on any other heroes it is always change it and keep it always and intelligence since i want my hero to be intelligent let's campaign and make it five i don't know if five is too high it does sound a bit too high let's just see as see at some other heroes kills three zen is 3.2 and is three actually it's not that bad this as you can see if we if we had just take on a default hero and created a custom hero then you didn't have to make much changes but we are converting a unit into a hero because of which you have to change a lot of stats to make it actual an actual hero rather than still a unit and obviously primary attribute is not right now because it was a unit but now it's a hero so it's primarily intelligent attribute is intelligent which for some reason i can't change huh no i can now strat priority should not be six it should actually be 10 that's how much you want your primary stat be your main priority i think that's the case for almost every hero yeah some some have 12 i guess some have 11 but yeah it's primarily 10 now let's make some other changes another important change the starting in agility you obviously have agility per per level and so on but obviously you need a starting agility starting in if i would recommend maybe put your primary as as above 20 uh, let's say for him we shall go 24 11 others should be below below par obviously strength is going to be his main weakness so let's let's put it only as 13 and agility a bit higher at about is a very agile maze uh, and finally strength strength power level only comes after the starting agility as you can see here strength power level which shouldn't be that high so i'll just put it at one actually this name is actually not their proper name this is the name that shows uh, in your experience tab so this proper name is the actual name you want uh, so let's see. so viper that is going to be his proper name this is going to be the name of the hero as you can see it has been changed into viper instead of s viper because that's his proper name this is the text name and that is actually everything you need to know for this part as well there's a few 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 things you have to 
you still have to do wait for it but this is what you have this is all the things that you have to do in the object editor now in order to select this hero you can either just right click it and select in tool palette or you could as you can see go in here go in the unit unit palette and go to customs and there will be your custom hero viper mr viper and obviously move around which i obviously told you how to do in the first video make sure to watch that if you haven't create a map and test a map in my first first world editor video so once you have done it now how do we set the heroes levels and manas and maybe items so for that we will go on object editor i mean object manager sorry object manager uh, it should be like this so player one you go in the custom and there's a hero and you double click it and the unit properties will show here we can actually change the uh, go on alliance emissary that it will be it will go to alliance emissary this is where all things happen like level obviously his, his level is going to be one so level one that's how he starts the first first map max mana uh, mana points i recommend uh, like whenever you win a hero or a unit their mana is always you know not 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 100 percent but when you are starting the game you would want your hero to have full mana of obviously obviously you don't need to have full mana so if you load the map right now then its mana would be 75 which is not good at the start so always change the mana to full mana so that whenever you start the map it the mana will be mana would be full rather than only 36 and obviously in health point is percentage as you can see 100 percent default you can change the default attribute from here as well by the way starting attributes but uh, this is fine we have already changed there abilities so you can already turn your ability from here directly but i would recommend not to do that and if you click on crow form then I actually he will be in a crow form or crow form will be activated as soon as he reload the map uh, but we don't want that inventory maybe you would want your hero to give a item that it will always have always at every map so maybe for example want your hero to have this uh, mechanical critter critter for some re for, for some reason then click on it well that will be that item you will have at the very start of the game and items drop obviously you don't need to make any changes from here because it's your hero not an enemy hero so leave it by that and click on ok now it hero is finally ready or is it so the reason it is not over yet is because uh, let me show you if you go on here put the hero's level to all the way to 10 which is not something you would want this is your first map let's say for, um, obviously we want a hero to start at level one but uh let's say you are doing a a campaign map then obviously in campaign you don't want your hero to be somehow level up to all the way to 10 because that could happen if you are defending against an ai that is building a melee battle is going on then obviously you can go to level 10 uh, just from a single map but you do you would, would not you would not want that you need to go do something you need to click on advanced over here and then go on gameplay constants and then first click on use gameplay use custom gameplay constants and all the way until you find edge then look for hero maximum level as you can see this is the hero maximum level for your hero I mean, or level the maximum level your hero want to do and maybe you are making a by the way this is helpful for if you want to make an rpg as well rpg where hero can level for level up to level 100 then you can change it to 100 but let's say for you are doing or, or when you are doing a campaign map you can fix the level hero so let's say for the first map you're, you don't we wouldn't want your hero to you know be too high usually only level 2 so change it to 2 click ok and then click ok make sure by the way use custom click ok and now now if you double click it you can only level up to two as you can see only level up to two but we are starting the game so let's put it at one click ok save the map so yeah let's test the map so let's go into the map here is our hero Mary, as you can see the icon as well uh, and his uh, voice is actually kale because we changed it to kale and, and as you can see we have the summon elemental which uh, maybe i should have uh, so we have the summon enter we have our critter which we used and we have the co form as well made its default form which we can still use but and we can actually still attack but the attack is piercing for this form because that's the 
just to form just to attack of the crew rather than medivs the pick can ability actually let's go rain of fire let's summon our sea elemental which is bass and let's see uh, whether our armor is zero as well this is our strength this is our attack damage quite high 59 to 74 quite high because we are quite strong I said something. Uh, but we are this is for a solo map i guess and let's see how my hero attacks it is attacking a missile as you can see and quite fast actually because uh, the attack speed we had uh, maybe we added a bit too too high it's going quite fast and mana is quite high as well mana reason is i think my mana reason is this default as medivh has and so is the health reason and as you can see 200 over 200 our hero has maxed out at level 2 i mean obviously you can see the experience as experience uh, bar has maxed out which means he will not be leveling up and if you kill him as you can see we will not gain any experience because we are maxed out so yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this video or uh, this tutorial video i hope you guys enjoyed this i think i have uh, told you guys everything that has to do f uh, about hero you know converting hero into unit into hero and everything you have to do in to create your own hero other than obviously importing custom stuff uh, which will be which will be in a different video for custom spells custom skin and all of that and yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful and useful if you guys found this video helpful then make sure to like subscribe for more videos more warcraft 3 and gaming videos and comment down below what if i had mixed missed something exactly one you'd want me to teach in the next video the later one or whatever for world editor and i will see you guys in next video bye and take care peace